Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Enchanté, chiquitita. Want to see my abs? Johnny Bravo is not bad. Let me tell you why. Make sure this doesn't follow me back to the Village of Beautiful Women. Village of Beautiful Women? Yes, ma'am. I don't even want him anywhere near the Village of Beautiful Women. Village of Beautiful Women? Yes, ma'am. Listen, y'all heard it. The Village of Beautiful Women. Now, let's be honest. We're all adults here, right? Who wouldn't want to go to the Village of Beautiful Women? Come on now, every man and every woman would. Let's be honest, I mean, hey, everyone loves beautiful women. They're great. So why is Johnny so wrong? And I mean, let's be honest, for these Amazonian women to be claiming such a high level of intelligence, they're overlooking a really simple concept. Beautiful women are great. And let's be real though, Johnny had a little bit of taste on him, you know, he, he would go for an Amazonian woman, you know, she nice and tall, but he ain't scared to take that climb, he ain't scared of no heights, he trying to climb the highest peaks to see the views that no man has ever imagined. <sighs> for real. Welcome to the village of beautiful women. Wow. <laughs> hubba hubba. I mean, look at that, it literally says Paradise Land. Like, it's literally the Paradise Island Mall, like, it's Paradise Island. They're telling you, Beautiful women equal paradise. Oh man, you chicks are pretty. Come on, do the monkey with me, come on. Now this is a conundrum. He complimented them, told them they're pretty, asked them to dance. And you know, to me, that sounds like what every Prince Charming does in every princess movie. Hi, you're very beautiful. Would you like to dance? Take them by the hand and they have a great old time. And instead, Johnny gets treated like this. So you're one of them screamer types too, huh? Wait a second. Oh, and by the way, that is not an attractive sound. If she makes that sound, you're probably gonna get arrested for bestiality. I'd get out of there as quickly as possible. What is your name, Private? Johnny Bravo, sweet cakes. <laughs> hey, how's about you and me heading over to the PX for a little chipped beef on Johnny? Listen, Johnny's a straight shooter, straight to the point. He's letting women know what his intent is, up front, off rip, every time. He doesn't wanna waste anybody's time, and you should respect that. I mean, that's what you want, right? You don't want a guy to waste your time and pretend like he's just buying you a coffee out of the kindness of his own heart, right? I mean, but then again, I mean, it's work pretty much every time. <clears throat> I mean, I read on a forum that um, women like that. Yep. Hey, what the? <laughs> Mama warned me about women like you. I was hoping she was right. Now see, I bring up this clip because in today's world, kink shaming is frowned upon. But in the times of yesteryear, you know, we let that kink shaming fly. I mean, boy, you like, what, where? Boy, get up out of here, you're crazy. But you know, my man's Johnny, he'll put it all out there, let you know what he liked. He don't care who kink shames him. He was before his time. And I feel like, honestly, Johnny kind of set the tone for how society views the spectrum of methodical liberation of sexual desires. For lack of a better phrase, I don't know how to put that, but look, you got it, you got it, if you don't, you won't. Quick question before I go though, who would you rather have steal your girl from you? Johnny Bravo? Or Andrew Tate?